watch the master will take over. Then the power will be in our hands. Diabolos nos adjuvet. So the devil help us. Spirit of evil, dedicating ourselves to thee, we give thanks. the armor from Italy. Power is now in these hands, Adam. But you will be given a choice to play or die. Cars do not always hold the trigger. Still, you must choose. But beware. One of the fruits is poisoned, and if you choose it, the cards will indeed hold the truth. husband his power on condition that he in turn give me his soul but he betrayed me now he is dead whilst I and my evil powers live on I demand the conditions of our agreement be met and I claim the soul of your unborn child and I cast the spell on him and his offspring for generations to come Diabolus may adjuvet so the devil help me.
cold. Adam, I am cold looking at you. Just do up your coat. Barbara, look, you are not my mother, and I am not a child. Yes, but if you get sick, who is going to look after you? Come on, it's almost five. We're going to be late for the game. No, I wouldn't worry about that. The guys are never on time anyway. Besides, your father told me to pick up the costumes at WR Films before five and bring them right back for cleaning. Adam. What? The strangest thing happened to me today. We were in the operating room. I reached for the scalpel, and suddenly it was a dagger, like the one we use in the game. Just for a second, it... Well, it is only just a game, Barbara. Yes, I know, I realize that. I'm, I shouldn't have brought it up. I'm just tired. I'm, I'm seeing things. Well, maybe not. I get that feeling sometimes. to say where the game begins or life ends. Sometimes I feel like one of those figurines on the board. Adam. The weirdest part is that all of a sudden the sight of blood really gives me the creeps. You're a nurse. <laughs> I know. It makes me sick. Damn, it's already past five. Look, your father's gonna have a fit if he doesn't get to the cleaners. Where the hell have you been? <laughs> I had to call the wieners cleaners three times to keep the store open and wait for me. Well, I was just trying to... Pop, it was my fault. Oh, get it here. Mr. Sluzichuk, how do I look? Good. You look good, Mrs. Sullivan. But you need uh, a little tiara to make the image more regal. Barbara and Adam will help you find a, a suitable one. Everybody says I look very young. I danced in Swan Lake when I was in junior high. And that was back in uh, 1919, just after World War I. There. You look lovely. Very beautiful, Mrs. Sullivan. I know. I know. My boyfriend tells me that. And he's 17 years younger than I am. <laughs> Sorry, are we set to go? Okay, it's uh, your turn, roll, Adam. Okay. Uh, what character do you want to be? I want to play the warlock. Great choice, Adam. You got 180 IQ. 12 common sense. 18, stamina. And a seven, charisma. That's the highest score I've ever seen. You couldn't have done much better than that, Adam. Did anybody see that red light? What red light? Forget it. Just forget it. I am the warlock, Diablos me adjuve. Look at him. The guy's nuts. Your turn to roll.
Uh, Barbara, what are you doing under the table? I've got a rash on my ankle, and it's itching. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I get an itch sometimes, too, but uh, not my ankle, and uh, I know how to cure it. Arr, 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 arr. You're a pig. <laughs> All right, let's wrap up the game. Chuck, can't you use some other finger, like maybe the middle one? <laughs> Holy smoke! I hope you're not barbecuing my daughter. Is the game over yet? Yep. Now, uh, remember, Adam, tomorrow night we supply the costumes for the talent show at the junior college. I left a list on the counter. You can assemble it first thing in the morning. You will outfit the boys, and Barbara will give a hand to the girls. Well, can I give a hand to the girls, too? Jake, will you stop? <laughs> Let's go home now, Barbara. Anybody else need a ride? Only if I can sit with Barbara in the back seat. Well, good night, everybody. Adam, don't forget to lock up. I won't. Diablo Smith Aduvet. Zip up. I don't believe it. No dress rehearsal. This low budget crap wouldn't buy a bag of bird shit. If this is what it's like for starving artists, I swear to God, I'm going to IBM tomorrow. Oh, shut up, you two. If you guys went to the zoo, they'd try to feed you. Welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, friends and students of Trotterville uh, Junior College. Uh, my name is uh, uh, Harvey Frank, and uh, it's my pleasure to be your handsome MC for the evening. <laughs> I'm the one who will be introducing the acts. Uh, yeah. um, so, without further ado, uh, I'd like to present right now that great master of illusion, the first and the best, the one and the only, Simcoe, the magician. <laughs> Followed by uh, Hush the Lush. Oh, excuse me. Uh, beat two eggs until foamy. <laughs> excuse me. Uh, Simcoe, excuse me. <laughs>
Hi there. Listen, I've uh, got a raccoon in my pants. Would you like to set it free? Oh, shut up, Michael. Hey, Barbara, want to see why they call me BJ? <laughs> You're full of hot air, you know that? Yeah? Want to watch me suck a greyhound bus through a straw? Uh, Adam, have you seen the magician? The guy is unbelievable, really. He is fantastic. You know what he did? He made one of the girl's robes disappear just like that. Come on. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the gifted pen of uh, Sam Ribikoff of Mrs. Minsky's uh, English class, we will now be treated to a medieval love story titled Inside the Love Nest. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> How awful of Florence's parents not to allow her to return my love. Meryl Streep. She doesn't have half of what I have. You're right. She has to get by on talent. For Christ's sake, move that gorgeous ass before you miss your cue. Jesus, dumb broads. Man. Alas, my love, my Florence, whither art thou? If only thou knew that I am not a mere page, but the son of the king of Moravia. I have a confession to make, my love. I am not a poor page, but the son of the king of Moravia. What's wrong? Oh, shucks, my beloved. Your dad is the worst enemy of my father. He will never permit us to marry, but we will be together, even if it means a death in the family. My servant Piccolo will bring the horses. We will ride to the castle and have a word with my daddy. Piccolo, Piccolo. How silly of me. I gave Piccolo the day off. <laughs> Where the hell is that goddamn yo-yo who plays piccolo? I don't know, maybe he's in the cafeteria. Adam, you'll have to save my ass. Here, throw this costume on and get on stage, and uh, I'll tell you what to do in a second. Don't worry, it's not a speaking part. Listen, hurry up, will you? Hey, wait, wait a second. What? Amateurs. What is that? That is a fig leaf. Oh, can we smoke it? I wouldn't if I were you, Dolly. That is Carmen's costume for the Garden of Eden scene. Well, that bitch, she just loves to show the naked truth. Dolly, will you just hold still, please? Thank you. Daddy, you must permit me to marry my beloved. Uh-oh, Piccolo, you came back early from your vacation. <laughs> my beloved daughter. We can never allow you to marry our insidious enemy. The Prince of Moravia will never be a member of our royal family. I'd rather die. You got it, Pops. Now we will live 
happily, happily ever, ever after. after. Great, Bob, wasn't it? If it weren't for that shithead pickle, everything would have been just perfect. Carmen, your mother's waiting for you downstairs. I think she has something for you. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Check the fuse box. of Trottleville's magnificent marching band and before the creation of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, it is my immense pleasure to present Gina Carolini, the exchange student from Palermo. <laughs> ah, the wonder of Italy. How one country can turn out such tiny little cars and such enormous women. <laughs>
thinks he's gone. Okay, girls, let's move it. Come on. Could someone rub some oil on my back? I can't reach it. you lecherous creep. Get out of here. Who was that, Dolly? A man? I thought it was one of you girls. Oh, no. It's just one of them clowns in costume. But I didn't recognize him. Do you need some more help? No, thanks. I think I'm fine. I just need my fig leaf. All right. I just don't know. The Lord forbade us to eat the fruits from this tree. Don't be a schmuck, Eve. He's just pushing you around. You're a liberated woman. You can think for yourself. Besides, do you really think he's going to kick you out just for eating an apple? You're hungry, so eat. Diablos, me and you fed. into convulsions and dying of a heart attack before my very eyes. I am a nurse and there was nothing I could do about it. I saw it quite differently. There was that big snake. Hi, we're Mr. and Mrs. Bull. Can you show us where we can find some bunny costumes, please? Uh, yes, there's some in the road just over there. I'm not sure we have any in your size, though. Oh, we can squeeze into anything, can't we, Ralphie? <laughs> Something strange is going on, Adam. I think so, too. Do you ever go into a room for the first time and yet somehow recognize it as if you'd been there before? Yeah, that happens to me. It's almost as if I've lived other lives before this one. It's so confusing. You know, I, I'm seeing things, and I don't know if they're real or if I'm just imagining them. I don't understand myself anymore. Maybe a psychologist would help. <laughs> oh, come on, Barbara. They're all full of bull. Did he say bull? I believe he did, honey. I don't trust any psychologist. Oh, 
this is bothering me. Adam Wade, I have an idea. I, uh, I know a fortune teller. <laughs> no, really, I do. And I've been to her before, so I know she's good. So what do you say? Is it worth 20 bucks to you? I don't know. Well, how do we look? Very realistic. You should go to Hollywood. The walk will do you good. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm going to phone Madame Cardoche right now and make an appointment for you after work, okay? Because I think she can really help. May I have the payment, please? Twenty dollars, right? May I see your driver's license? Barbara told me of the phone that you have been experiencing a certain uh, confusion. I cannot cure that, you understand. But I might be able to shed some light on your inner problems so you would better understand yourself. Mm, let me see. Your father's name was Jeremy. How did you know that? He's been dead for 18 years. You lost your eyesight for two days when you fell from a swing at age four and a half. Mm, you have a small wart under your left armpit. Concentrate on these cards. Life is a puzzle only the devil can solve. Or God, if you are lucky.
Above your head. Now! Don't move. Okay. Put your hands behind your head. Now turn around real slow. Surprised to see me here? Oh, it's you, Frank. He's done it again, oh. Sheila. Where did he do it this time, Frank? In the bathroom, Sheila. Oh, good, Frank. Oh, God, this is hard, but... He did it in the sink, Sheila. I see. Well, I must go now and clean my sink. Goodbye, Frank. Don't try to follow me. I'll miss you, kid. We are two wild and crazy nights. <laughs> Where are the maidens? Will you sit down and play, you wishful studs? <laughs> you know what they say. Dog that barks never bites. <laughs> All right. I have a new scenario for you. There is a girl somewhere near who is gaining enormous powers. A high-level sorcerer wants to hire you to kill her. Who is she? A sorceress dressed in white. Like a bride. Or a nurse. Maybe her. <laughs> no, she's one of us. And anyway, Barbara is a magic nymph. This sorcerer will offer 100,000 pieces of gold to find the white-clad woman and kill her. Adam, you are right behind her. You want to drop back one step. I guess. Stay away from bedpans, blood, patients' complaints. Mm-mm. I'm covering for Lynn, and I'm only working one hour. Well, you're damn lucky. I'm working my ass off on a ten-hour shift. Oh, poor you. <laughs> I'd like to speak to Barbara Sasarchuk. Are you her boyfriend? No. No, I work for her father. Excuse me. Doctor, please, don't. Stop! Stop! Don't go. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, doctor, you're the best. In this room, at this time. Where the usually peaceful Trottleville has been hit by two sudden and unexplained deaths in the past two days. 
The first was an 18-year-old girl who died of a heart attack on stage during a junior college theatrical performance. Madame Kardosh, the established fortune teller, also died of heart failure. Neither party had a history of heart ailments. Therefore, autopsies and further investigations will continue. Based on conflicting testimonies, homicide is suspected, but there is no conclusive evidence. <laughs> If you have any information, phone nine. Doctor, you scared the wits out of me. And that was Prince. Trottleville's Peg Heckler defeated and Mother. Until next time, sweetheart. And now here's the weather. Barbara Slazarchuk, come to your nursing station. Barbara Slazarchuk. Dr. Phillips, 
Since I'm ironing, I might as well do my uniform. Get so wrinkled under all the patient's hands, you know. You know, Adam, it's a match made in heaven. And since fate brought us together, well, maybe we should do something about it. Can I have my pants back now? What? My pants. Please. Uh, sure. I thought you were also going to ask me if you could take your shorts off. Yeah. Adam, I know it's kind of a delicate question. But are you gay? No, I'm not gay. I just feel uncomfortable. That's all. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, I know. You like to play games, don't you? All right. Let's pretend that I'm the mummy, and you're the good little boy. Now, mummy will take good care of her good little boy. She'll cover him up with his big white blanket, and she'll play with him underneath his big white blanket. And soon he'll love her. And then she's going to show him her enormous skills. There's a girl who's gaining enormous powers. What's the matter? <laughs> I think it's, it's the game. You're crazy! You're nuts! Adam! Sunny weather, forever and ever, amen.
Livingstone concert, stupid assholes. Why don't we uh, finish the scenario we started last time? What is that? That is the proof that I've accomplished my task. I took care of the white sorceress, thereby eliminating her enormous powers. Uh, uh, uh. Really? Did you have a good time doing it? <laughs> we should all be paid 100,000 gold pieces now. What's wrong with you, man? Why don't you wake up? What is this? That? That is a swatch of material I took from the sorceress's gown. Adam, this is not funny. <laughs> you tore her breast pocket, you sleazoid. <laughs> so I need a costume for a party tonight I'm looking for something chic revealing but not vulgar and not too contemporary do you know what I mean ah uh, yes you're looking for something medieval possibly 14th century worn by women of the court yes that would be fine as you can see I have some nice features I'd like to show off Oh, gosh, it's 5.30 already. I've got to run to a meeting, but we have another clerk here who'd be more than happy to serve you. Adam! What? Adam, could you come out here, please? A man in ladies' fashions? He has excellent taste. Adam, this lovely lady would like a sensuous 14th century costume. Do you think you could help her? Gladly. All right, well, good luck. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Please follow me. Now, that looks fantastic. Do you think maybe you could stay a couple of moments and we can experiment with some accessories? Sure, I can wait. My party doesn't start till 9 o'clock. I have plenty of time. By the way, I've heard that people going to costume parties often express their secret dreams in the mask they choose to wear. Do you think that's true? I don't know. As a matter of fact, we do rent a lot of masks of Nixon and Fidel Castro. <laughs> Tell me, what's your dream? What would you like to be? Sarah Bernhardt. And that costume? No, but I saw a movie about her once. She was wearing a costume just like this. And she killed several people with a hat pin. Like this. We just might have something in the back from Sarah Bernhardt's time. Don't go away. I'll be right back.
right. Let's get on with the new session. Barbara, you still got that rash? Hey, Adam, are you going to butcher some chicken this session, too? Well, maybe you could prove it by bringing us some white and dark meat. <laughs> Enough. You are challenged by the apostles of hell. What do they want? You've been asked to leave the castle. And if I don't? They'll kill you. So what are they up to in general? They are trying to enlist new members in order to gain more power. How can we recognize them? This is their sign. So how do we handle Slay them, violently, one after another. And if we don't? They'll do it to you. Who's their leader? The devil himself. Where can we find them? At the Villa Evil. How do I get in? Say, skullduggery. Please. Mr. Adam Burton. Right. Whoa, now. What's the password? Skullduggery. Can I go now? Sure. Play this way, please. Welcome. Mr. Burton. I'm Dr. Evil. Where is your costume? I brought several of my own. Is there somewhere I can change? You'll find a door on the right, marked wardrobe. You won't be disturbed. <laughs> I'm the only virgin at this party. But men are afraid of innocence. Can you read what's in my mind? Do you really think it's possible to see into the future? Of course. To the past, the present is the future. And to the future, the present is the past. Therefore, if the present is both future and past, we live in both dimensions simultaneously. <laughs> Could you please deplate your tits? I'm so now it's buried in my soul. Now it's buried in my soul. It's I know you from somewhere, guys. Well? <laughs> are you two related? Of course we are. Preppy? Sure. From Boston? You bet, Buffy. So you must be the Brooks Brothers. Tell me, Mr. Burton, what 
fantasy would you least expect to find realized tonight? Innocence. Allow me. one after another. And if we don't? We'll do the same to you. divine, a dream, intelligent, well-groomed, considerate, and handsome. Oh, Janet, is he handsome? He sounds like a real Prince Charming. What does he do for a living? He's with IBM. There he is, my lover. Ladies and gentlemen, would you kindly give your attention to Karen, our beautiful and gifted ballerina?
There's a fire. Oof. This oven is on fire. Yeah. You open it. Ah, oh, it's hot! It's a metal handle. You need pot holders. Mr. Burton, have you met our special ambassador? Do you belong, brother? If he alone belongs, you can find his way out of the labyrinth. I have the key to the gate. Do you have the sign? The sign is within her. Follow her, my son. You can call me Adam. Follow her, Adam. I believe you'll find it rewarding. I believe in only what I see. And it's not bad. Don't deceive yourself. You see nothing but the surface. Join us, and you'll experience the utmost ecstasy. There are only two ultimates in life, money and power. Power and money. Join us, be our brother. Take a sip of Darach. What's Darach? Darach? means blood in Indonesian. Well, you guys are really international, aren't you? All right. I'll drink it. But first, I want you in a dock. <coughs> I want you too, my brother. to meet the other brothers. You know, I've had my eye on you all night, girl. Let's get that Hawaiian ass of yours over here. Let go of me! Shut up! Now you show me some of those famous Hawaiian moves of yours. Hit her, Zach. I'm going to do her. Help me! <laughs> Har 
Dialogue. Hi, you've just called Dialogue. Hey, what do you call a person that can't read in two languages? A bilingual illiterate. <laughs> Was that a good one? Okay, here's another one. Okay, this is good. Let's see what you have. Yeah. This is for all those little bastards that ruined my Halloween this year. Me and my boyfriend had to have coitus interruptus 15 times. Next year I'll be prepared. Have a little trick or treat for them. <laughs>
She's all right. She's just in shock. Perhaps we have been imagining things. Take her upstairs, Helen, and give her some whiskey. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce an extraordinary performer, the Warlock. I need an assistant. Perhaps you, my lady. You, madame. Give me the police.
Please take off that ridiculous mask. Chief, I found the killer. Precisely, Watson. If that's your real name. This man is not the killer. He's got blood all over him. Elementary, my dear Watson. It isn't blood. It's ketchup. He's right. Then we've got the wrong guy. Brilliant conclusion, Chief. I happen to know who the murderer is. And how do you know? He left his business card in the dressing room. Adam Burton, Sluzarczyk Costume House, 93 Mill Street, Trottleville. Do you want his phone number, too?
Thanks. I'll get him. And I cast the spell upon him and his offspring for generations to come. Diabolus me adjuvet. So the devil help me. <laughs> take care of Herring. I'm going after that son of a bitch. No, don't. He might kill you. Let's go together. All right. Take care of Herring first. What if he escapes? I'll get him even if I have to go to hell. Oh, my God. Stay where you are, Burton. Don't move. No, Jones, don't shoot. Uh, you're not going to kill me, you bastard. <laughs> I mean, how the hell could he vanish into thin air? And there's other crazy stories. What's going on here? Don't forget that Adam was a warlock of the first order of power, or possessed by the devil. Oh, come on, Chuck, you can't be serious. You don't believe this crap. It's just a game. I don't believe he's gone. We shall give Adam one final honor. He shall play this game with us one more time. Now, all the figurines are on neutral territory. We start all over again. And we shall let Adam throw for the first character. We shall make an exception this one time. He is still with us. He is present. I can feel it. 